In this video, we will be learning about compensating errors. Now, what is unique about this error is that it affects those accounts, two or maybe sometimes more than two accounts, which are independent of each other. In other words, we can say that this error is not made by just recording a transaction wrongly in both the accounts. Hmm? You remember in error of omission, the transaction used to be omitted from the records, right? So we used to correct this error by recording the transaction just like it should have been recorded in the original place. Similarly, there used to be a connection between the accounts in error of commission and in error of principle as well. Right, in error of commission, uh, the class of account used to be same, but the account was wrong. Similarly, in error of principle, the class of account was different, but the side of the account used to be the same. However, in compensating errors, the accounts are not related to each other at all. Right, and the reason why this error is not revealed by the trial balance is because coincidentally, the amount by which the accounts are affected are same right now how is this possible we'll be learning about that through an example so you can remember compensating error as when an error in one account cancels out the effect of another error in different account why because the amount by which the error is made is same right so this is a definition of compensating errors and because of such errors of course, the trial balance totals are equal as it is not revealed by the trial balance. However, the different account balances are of course wrong. Right now, let's understand this through an example. For instance, machinery. Machinery is an asset, right? So machinery is a non-current asset and right now it is overstated by 4000, okay? And capital is also overstated by 4000, okay? Now, first of all, the reason why there is a problem in both of these accounts is not because we recorded a transaction reco uh, wrongly, right? So these are independent of each other. These are not related to each other. And the amounts by which both of these accounts are affected is same. Hmm? Now machinery we know that it appears on the debit side of trial balance. And capital we know that it appears on the credit side of trial balance. Now since the, both these accounts appear on the different sides of the trial balance, therefore this error was not revealed by the trial balance because the debit side was overstated and the credit side was also overstated. So hence both the sides were overstated by the same amount that is $4,000. So therefore it was not revealed by the trial balance. Now since we have now come to know about this error, we have to correct this error as well. Now how should I correct this error? Over here machinery is overstated by $4,000 means more has been recorded on the debit side of the machinery account. So now if I want to decrease its balance, I will now have to credit my machinery account by $4,000 so that it comes to its original value and right now my capital is also overstated means more has been recorded on the credit side of my capital account. So in order to decrease its value, I will now debit my capital account by $4,000 as well. This is how we will correct this compensating error, right? Both the accounts not related to each other. However, coincidentally, the amount by which both of these were affected was same. So that was an example of compensating error. Now, will this correction uh, affect my profit? In this case, no, there will be no effect because both of these accounts appear in the statement of financial position and not in the income statement. Let's move to another example. Hmm. It says that trade receivables, again, an asset for the business, trade receivables are overstated by $700. Okay. Purchases are understated by $500. Hmm. And drawings are also understated by $200. Now, in this case, three accounts are affected. Hmm. However, they are not affected because of the same transaction. There might be some problem in the total the, while calculating totals of these accounts. Right. Now, how to tackle such error? Trade receivables are now, right now overstated by $700. So, trade receivables appear on the debit side of trial balance and right now they are overstated by $700. Okay. Purchases, we know that they also appear on the debit side and they are understated means less has been recorded 
in the purchases account so they are understood by 500 dollars and drawings we know that they also appear on the debit side of trial balance it's a contra capital account so uh, it appears on the debit side and these are also understated by 200 dollars means less has been recorded hmm. okay now we have to correct this error now first of all if trade receivables are more means overstated more has been recorded on debit side so now in order to decrease its balance i have to now credit my trade receivables by 700 dollars and my purchases purchases we know that if they are recorded less now in order to increase purchases account i will again have to debit them right purchase increase on the debit side because it shows an increase in your asset and increase in your inventory so in order to increase my purchases i will be debiting them by 500 hmm? you can see that there's still some balance remaining on the debit side credit side 700 right now purchases on the, the debit side is 500 now drawings we know that they are also understated by 200 dollars so again in order to increase my drawings balance i have to debit them by what value by 200 dollars right now this double entry is balanced for 700 on the debit side and 700 on the credit side as well so you see that all three accounts appeared on the debit side of the trial balance right there was no no problem in that account which appeared on the credit side however coincidentally the debit side still matched with the credit side because all of these errors all of these amounts cancelled the effect of the error made in these accounts right so this is what you can call a compensating error let's move to our last okay from before that what will be the effect on the profit by correcting this error hmm. so we know that trade receivables they appear in the statement of financial position and the drawings are also recorded in the statement of financial position however purchases are recorded in the income statement now if i am debiting my purchases means that i'm increasing my purchases so whenever your purchases will increase your cost of sales will increase and if your cost will increase this means that your profit will decrease right increasing cost of sales will decrease your profit okay now let's move to our third example it says that wages account is undercast by two thousand dollars okay and rent account is overcast by two thousand dollars okay so wages we know that it's an expense it appears on the debit side of trial balance and rent is also an expense so it will also appear on the debit side however wages are undercast by two thousand dollars right so wages are less recorded by two thousand dollars and rent account is overcast by means more has been recorded in the rent account by two thousand dollars hmm. now both of these accounts they appear on the debit side of the trial balance however this error was failed to be revealed by the trial balance this is because it has cancelled the effect right both of these have cancelled the effect of each other one is overstated one is understated and so uh, the net effect was zero that is why the debit side still matched with the credit side now how will this error be corrected if i have overstated my rent account now in order to decrease an expense i will have to credit that so rent will be credited by two thousand dollars and if wages are understated right now so in order to increase an expense account i will have to debit them so two thousand will be debited in wages account hmm. now how will this error affect the profit okay so this is interesting because both of these accounts they appear in the income statement because it's an expense for the business wages and rent both now what do you think how will this affect the profit the correction of this error will not affect the profit at all there will be no effect on the profit why is that so this is because when the error was made right you can see that one account was undercast and one account was overcast so one was understated one was overstated by the same figure hmm? so if i have recorded more in one expense and recorded less in another ex in another expense will this affect my total expenses no it will not right uh, the profit figure and the total expenses figure 
will be correct and even if after I have corrected this error now what have I done I have recorded more in one account and reduced the value of another account by the same value that is 2000 right previously 2000 was more recorded in rent now 2000 is more recorded in wages right previously wages were under recorded now wages are over recorded so of course the individual account balances wages and rent account are now corrected they will now show the correct value of that account however the total expenses figure and your profit figure will still be same it will not be affected however the individual account balances of course their balances will change now by correcting this error so this was all about compensating errors and that's it for this video. I'll see you in the next one.